Is your door shut, Mum? Yeah. Can I shut it? Hi, Queens. How are we? So, I'm going to do a little cook with me mukbang. So, it's basically a mukbang, but I'm going to cook what I'm eating instead of going through drive-thru because drive-thru makes me sick because I have a lot of allergies. Also, sorry for the road noise. There's just all of a sudden I decided to have the bins collected. Everyone's moving in and out today, apparently. There's just so many trucks, but you're in my kitchen and we're going to cook. So, I'm going to show you what I've been eating pretty much every day um, because it's so yummy and it just makes me happy. Um, and I'm also going to answer questions and I've got my little... Got my little trusty dusty iPad here, which is my which is my fave recent purchase, and I've actually got Instagram up on it so that we can answer questions at the same time. So I've got all my ingredients here, and we're gonna get cooking. So let's just find a question. All right, this is a good fun one. If you had to choose between lactose intolerant or gluten intolerant, which one? First up, we need to get a pan. You good? Yeah. But yeah. first up, we're going to be making our eggs. So I'm just going to put some oil in the pan. I'm just going to let that oil heat up. But if I had to choose between lactose intolerant and gluten intolerant, which one? 100% lactose. I feel like there's so many more options for lactose. Honestly, being gluten free and dairy free isn't that hard. Like everyone's like, how do you do it? And it's like, I've been allergic to a lot of things. Like this isn't recent. Like all my allergies aren't recent. Obviously, they're more flared up right now because I am autoimmune sick. But I've had these for ages, so I'm so used to it. We live in, it's 2023, there's so many gluten-free options. Like I literally have gluten-free bread, gluten-free granola, like there is so many options out there. So I'm glad that we live in a time that we have all these options, but I feel like lactose, there's so many milks, there's, and I feel like dairy's in less things, which this, obviously people might have different opinions, but just from experience, I feel like it's hard to get gluten-free and it's way easier to get dairy-free. Cause dairy, for me, like I don't really eat ice cream that much like I could go my whole life without eating ice cream again but like gluten is in like pretty much everything got two fat juicy eggs here we're gonna crack them nice okay the eggs are in so yeah I would probably choose lactose and toner just because from experience I feel like that's easier how many ex-partners such situationships have you ever had so we're gonna put the toast on because that takes forever why does gluten-free toast or my cat's just watching me by the way she's just sitting there staring at me what do you want want i feel like toast takes so long to cook but especially gluten-free toast like why does it take four times down in the toaster why are the eggs so loud so i'm gonna put two pieces in the toaster while that's cooking we're gonna make a little side dish because we're actually gonna have two meals kind of in one i'll answer this question in a second first up coconut yogurt this one is so good it's got like passion fruit through it like yum so i'm gonna do a little two dollops of that the best gluten-free granola ever is from nodo also nodo if you're watching this please come to new south wales I'm pretty sure they're only in like Brisbane and Gold Coast. And every time I go to Brisbane, we have to go there. It's a full gluten-free cafe. If they came honestly to anywhere in New South Wales, I would drive hours to get there. But usually I use their gluten-free granola, but I've run out. So I just got their soft woolies. Like, I don't know. A lot of gluten-free granolas can taste really bad. So I'm hoping it's not bad. A lot of them can taste like you're eating off a farm floor. But we're going to try and just see. I'm going to do a bit of granoles. This doesn't look like it's going to be very good. So far, it's kind of giving bird food. That'll do. We need to flip these eggs. We're going to cut up our strawberries into little slices, like so. This is not a cooking show. I don't know why I'm explaining to you how to cut strawberries. Then we're going to add a little dash of almond milk. Little dash. And then this is the key ingredient. Honey, it's so good. Oh, that it looks delicious. So that is our first meal. We're gonna put that to the side. The toast is still cooking. Like, babe, what are you doing? It takes so long. Okay, so ex situationships slash partners. I've had one proper like relationship, um, which you guys may remember, and then I've had one like ex situationship. So I've only been in like two relationships one wasn't like legit one was just a situation ship but it went for way too long honestly way too long than it should have but anyway we live and we learn 
Um, yeah, so I've only been with like two people. Yeah, so that's the tea. One life moment that has stuck with you. I remember, this is like probably gonna stick with me forever. I was in the airport and my manager texted me and he was like, I've got incredible news for you. Like you're gonna freak out. And I'm just thinking like, it's probably like a brand deal or someone like a big brand wants to send me something. Like he, he just texted me out of the blue. And I can remember the exact gate I was sitting at in Sydney airport. Every time I walk past it, I get like goosebumps. And he sent me a screenshot, I'm pretty sure. He texted me and said, a girl's make a wish is to go and spend the day with you. And I honestly, like, that was the best flight of my life because the whole hour I was just sitting there thinking, like, what is this life? And some... These bloody eggs. Some girls, one, like, wish was to do a shopping day with me and it was just, like, the best day ever. It was just so beautiful and that's just something that will stick with me forever because, as you guys know, I'm very passionate about um, Ronald McDonald House and I know it's not the same, like, charity, but it still means the same to me, like... And it just, yeah, that's just something that I know will forever stick with me because that was just... Crazy, and yeah, I can remember exactly where I was sitting. Why'd you start social media? So I actually didn't start social media in like a way to like, I wasn't like, didn't start like a content creator. So basically, if you guys know the story, short story, long story short, got really sick in year 12, wasn't able to finish, got glandular fever, and was just literally so bored. If you have a glandular fever, you know, it knocked me out for nine months. Like some people are knocked out for a month, some people don't even know they have it. I was literally knocked out for nine months. Post is ready. I was literally knocked out for nine months and I was so bored in my bed that I literally started making random TikToks. I did not know what to do with my life, so I started, I made online orders from Spotlight and I started crocheting. Like, I'm not a creative person, I'm not into that stuff, but I was so beyond bored that I had no idea what to do with my life, so I ordered some yarn and started crocheting. And I, like, loved school, like, not actually going to school, but I loved assessment time. Like, I'm a big nerd, and my dream was always to become a pediatric oncologist, so. I've always really wanted to finish school and go do medicine, so it was really hard mentally for me. And just started making TikToks of the awful crochet tops I made. And I literally just started going from there. I started making um, hauls with clothes that I already owned. I'm telling you, I couldn't work. I worked at the pizza shop. I couldn't pick up any shifts. I had probably $3 in my bank account. I remember there's a Snapchat that keeps coming out from my flashbacks every year. And it's me crying. It's like, all I want to do is just go watch the sunset at the beach, but I don't even have enough petrol to get me there. So I'm telling you, like, I was literally in a low, low point mentally. Like, I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. I was lost. I wanted to go to med school. Like, I had no idea what I was doing. And yeah, just started making hauls with clothes I already owned that was so out of fashion. Like, I don't even know how they got any views. Like, they weren't new because I couldn't afford to buy, like, new clothes. Like, I didn't have any money. So I don't know how they even, the For You page even picked them up. These eggs are crispy. Ooh, 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 this is gonna be good. And I'm gonna add a bit of feather. So yeah, that's basically how it all started and then my videos just started getting picked up by the For You page. Little like brands started to send me stuff. I remember the first brand that ever sent me something was My Friends Are Yours and I'm actually really good friends with the owner. So random and the universe definitely had my back there because I was so lost and in a really bad place and it really just picked me up. All right, let's eat. Okay, my camera just cut out and deleted the whole last video but thank God I've only taken one bite of each thing. So I just sat down with my food. I've literally taken one bite and answered one question. So let's just start from the start and hopefully it doesn't do that again. If you change one thing currently about your life, what would it be? Hmm. This is a good one. This is a really deep question. I don't really think I would change anything. Isn't that crazy? I honestly don't think I can answer that. So many questions about men in my life. Are you scared or excited by the fact that we are a tiny planet in an ever expanding universe? Terrified, and I always have been, and I've always had my breakdowns about this, and we're not gonna stop. What do you think of the Hottest 100? So I'm a big Hottest 100 fan, I love Triple J. I listen to it every year, remember the year that Booster Seat was like predicted to win, I was working at a pizza shop when we were listening to it over the radio. And I remember being so upset that, what song won that year? I don't know, Some, I got, we got robbed that year. I'm pretty sure that was the year that Spacey Jane Booster seat was supposed to like come first and it didn't. Well, I don't know, something like that. I remember listening to it. So I listened to it every year. But this year, I didn't do, didn't do anything for it. I literally didn't do anything. So sad. I was just busy and just like didn't really hype it up in my head. Like I wasn't really prepared for it. I don't know. So sad. I don't even know who won. Who won? Oh, the flume sock. I've never heard that flume song in my whole life. How weird's that? I thought I might have heard it like at least once on TikTok or something. Never heard of it. 
but I love flume, so I'm glad they won. What has been your favourite part about selling your favourite boxes and will we see more? My favourite part was when you guys got them and you did like all the unboxings, like it was so fun to see everyone like guessing what colour bag they were going to get. I don't know, that was just like so crazy. My favourite part was to see like, we didn't know how many people were going to want them. And to be on the website to see how people were trying to get on, like it was just crazy to see that number of people like trying to get one. So we're definitely doing more, we're just trying to figure out um, what's in the next one and stuff like that. But there definitely will be more, hopefully very soon. Are you a Harry Potter fan? Absolutely not. Never watched it, never will, not about that life. Why are you so against people in relationships, lol? Is it jealousy because you're a virgin? <laughs> First of all, who said I'm against people in relationships? I'm just very like anti-love. I was raised by my feminist mum who taught me that I never needed a man. And that's just how I've been raised. Like I don't really, if I never found someone and like, never got married, like I wouldn't be upset. Like I'm whole as who I am. I'm, I would just say I'm anti-love because I've had such bad experiences with men and I just feel like men are just, I don't know, we're not going to get into it because I feel like I'm going to piss a lot of people off with what I have to say about men, but not a virgin. Sorry, mum, if you're watching. It's not jealousy. I've, I've been mainly single my whole life, I would say, and I love it. Single is one of my happiest and I really don't need a man. So, that's the tea. Are zebras white with black stripes or black with white stripes? Wow. Great question, dude underscore dude underscore dude underscore boy. I don't agree with the mood. Look, I really wanted to go to like every festival possible this year, but I'm just not the biggest fan of the lineup. Like it's good, it is good. I would love to see Alt J. Like to be fair, I'll probably end up going. Honestly, like for work, it's really good to go to like every festival. So I'll probably end up going anyway and it'll be good content for people that maybe can't make it and you can like watch my stories and stuff. Cause a lot of people say like, I couldn't make it. Can you please like spam your story so I can like feel like I'm there, which I'd love to do. Cause I feel like that's like cute. Like if I couldn't make it to somewhere and I was watching someone's stories, I'd kind of feel like I was there. So I probably will end up going. I need to properly have a deep dive into the lineup because I haven't really really thought about it. But I feel like a lot of the big artists that they really went ham on just aren't my like taste of music. Brands you don't support and why? Wow, you guys really want the tea. Mmm. This is a good one, Laura. Which celebrity would you take out for brekkie and which one for lunch and which one for dinner? Oh, this is good. Okay. What celebrity would I take out for brekkie, lunch and dinner? Cody Ko is taken and I need to accept this and I need to take it on and I need to understand that he will not be mine and I need to fully process this. So I was going to say I'd take him out for dinner and I'd wear something really cute and it'd be like date vibes but he literally has a wife. Oh that's really weird to say. He literally has a wife. So I can't be fancying him like that but I still would like to meet him and just chat as friends. So I'm going to say I'm going to say lunch. I feel like he's a luncher. I feel like you go for a bike ride in the morning, film some Cody trains, and then we go out for like a, maybe like a brunch. But I'll say, I'll say lunch. Cody home for lunch. Brekkie. Dinner? Oh! Dinner would have to be Steve Carell. I was going to say Ryan Reynolds, but I feel like, oh, this is too hard. Bro, I'm going to take Steve Carell for dinner because I feel like, not in like a flirty way, but I feel like he'd look so like wholesome and cute in like a suit. I feel like he'd be such a gentleman. I know he's married too, but like I feel like he'd just be like cute dad vibes. Do you know what I mean? It's like taking like my dad out for dinner or with my grandpa. Okay, he's not that old, but still. And then Brecky, let's do a lady. Who do we want to do? Who do I want to take out for Brecky? I honestly feel like Kelsey, but I'm like, I can't do a couple in the same day. But it's too much. Like I could just ask Cody to FaceTime Kelsey. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm going to waste a whole meal. Mm, let me think. Sophia and Chinsia. I know that's two people. I know. But I obviously can't choose because they're just like, they're just Sophia and Chinsia, do you know what I mean? F. Mary Hill, Lana, Olivia, Sammy. Okay. I would, oh, I would marry Lana. I love Lana. I feel like she's such a sweetie. I'm leaning between Lana and Olivia, marry, because I feel like Olivia is wife and material, but I feel like we have very different personalities, whereas I feel like Lana and I would get on better. Probably F Sammy, just because she's hot. Like, she's so hot. And then probably kill Olivia. Where do you store all your clothing? Because I assume you have a lot. I actually give away most of my clothes. Like, I, I do have a lot, as I will say. But most of it does go to Hunter Markets, which is where, I, like, they sell my clothes to me. And then all the money goes to when I was on gas. Some of it does go to Vinnie's, because I like to, like, split it up. A lot does get donated to charity shops. A lot goes to, like, well, not a lot. But, like, some goes to my sister. Some goes to my friends. Acai or tacos for the rest of your life? Mm, you guys really ask the hard-hitting questions. 
But that is how you cook an egg. Mm hmm I want to say tacos because I feel like you can do so much with tacos. Like I can have prawn tacos. I can have taco salad. I can have chicken tacos. I can have beef tacos. But I love acai. I'm going to say tacos because I feel like the granola bowl that I just made then gives the same vibe as acai. And it kind of gives me the same feeling that acai gives me. So I'm going to say tacos. What's the craziest rumor you've heard about yourself? That these babies are fake, apparently. I went in hiding for like a year while I healed. And got my boobs done when I was like 13, apparently. Some people are silly. This has been really fun. I should do this more. I always say this when I make bookworms. And I never do. Your ideal style for a guy. To be honest, I don't really care about style when it comes to guys. I would rather you respect me than have Drew. <laughs> Fave Love Island couple. Obviously, Shaq and Tanya. They're like endgame. I feel like they actually will work on the outside. They kind of give me the same vibes as India and Dami, even though Dami is a bit of a D word. The way they resolved that little fight, like when he was a little bit angry about the challenge, they just kind of like came together and were like, I don't know, they just like resolved it really well. I feel like none of them were petty about it, even though they both said they're petty. And how like they showed both the clips, one after each other, like when they were apart and they were talking like, you know, the girls and the boys. And Shaq was like talking to the boys and he was like, yeah, I'm like really petty and I'm trying to change that for him, for her. And then it cut to her and she was like, oh, I'm really stubborn, but like I'm trying to change that for him. That was just such a cute like contrast, I thought. Contrast? No. Such a cute... What am I trying to say here? It was really cute how they showed that and how they were both having basically the same conversations without each other even knowing. And then when they came together, they just resolved it beautifully. And I, I don't know, I just think they're really cute. Hopefully, I'm actually not up to date yet. Uh, obviously, if you don't want any spoilers, skip because I'm about to spill some tea. I actually have one episode to catch up on, but so I don't know who Lana picked, but in the recoupling, but I'm hoping she picks, oh my God, what's his name? No, his name's not Cooper. I don't know, not Ron. Oh, what's his name? Okay, that's enough questions for now. I love you. Hope you're well. I'm actually going away this weekend, so I have to go pack because I leave tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and I haven't even packed. But I love you. I hope this was fun. If you want more bookbongs, let me know. And I enjoyed this. And I hope you guys had a yummy meal with me. I'm going to go watch you because the new season came out. Best show ever. And um, chill with my mummy for the day. But I love you.